It's Tuesday morning and this is morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all, to you be praise and glory forever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bring in light and life to all creation. May we rejoice in this day that you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Today's psalm is number 48. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain is fair and lifted high, the joy of all the earth. On Mount Zion, the divine dwelling place, stands the city of the great king. In her palaces, God has shown himself to be a sure refuge. For behold, the kings of the earth assembled and swept forward together. They saw and were dumbfounded. Dismayed, they fled in terror. Trembling seized them there. They writhed like a woman in labour, as when the east wind shatters the ships of Tarshish. As we had heard, so we have seen. In the city of the Lord of hosts, the city of our God, God has established her forever. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. And with your name, O God, so your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of justice. Let Mount Zion rejoice and the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgments, O Lord. Walk about Zion and go round about her, count all her towers, consider well her bulwarks, pass through her citadels, that you may tell those who come after that such is our God for ever and ever. It is he that shall be our guide for evermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of peace. Spirit of God, teach us your ways that we may walk in the paths of peace. Come, let us go up to the mountain of God, to the house of the God of Jacob, that God may teach us his ways, that we may walk in his paths. For the law shall go out from Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. God shall judge between the nations and shall mediate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into ploughshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O people of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Spirit of God, teach us your ways, that we may walk in the paths of peace. We're reading from the book of Romans, chapter 9, starting at verse 19. You will say to me then, why does he still find fault? For who can resist his will? But who indeed are you, a human being, to argue with God? Will what is moulded say to the one who moulds it, Why have you made me like this? Has the potter no right over the clay to make out of the same lump one object for special use and another for ordinary use? What if God, desiring to show his wrath and to make known his power, has endured with much patience the objects of wrath that are made for destruction? And what if he has done so in order to make known the riches of his glory for the objects of mercy? which he has prepared beforehand for glory, including us whom he has called, not from the Jews only, 
but also from the Gentiles. As indeed he says in Hosea, Those who were not my people, I will call my people, and her who was not beloved, I will call beloved. And in the very place where it was said to them, You are not my people, there they shall be called children of the living God. And Isaiah cries out concerning Israel, Though the number of the children of Israel were like the sand of the sea, only a remnant of them will be saved. For the Lord will execute his sentence on the earth quickly and decisively. And as Isaiah predicted, if the Lord of hosts had not left survivors to us, we would have fared like Sodom and been made like Gomorrah. What then are we to say? Gentiles who did not strive for righteousness but have attained it, that is, righteousness through faith. But Israel, who did not strive for righteousness that is based on the law, did not succeed in fulfilling that law. Why not? Because they did not strive for it on the basis of faith, but as it were based on works. They have stumbled over the stumbling stone, that is, as it is written, See, I am laying in Zion a stone that will be make people stumble, a rock that will make them fall and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. Here ends the reading. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. The Song of Christ's Glory At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Christ Jesus was in the form of God, but he did not cling to equality with God. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in our human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. So let us pray. Almighty God, at the beginning of this new day, we lift up to you the day that is ahead of us. We pray for the challenges and the tasks and the joy of the day ahead. Father, we pray that you would direct our paths, that we may do that which would please you today. Almighty God, we pray today for those who are struggling with illness of any kind. We pray especially for those who are nearing the end of their lives. Father, we pray for family and friends who are worried and concerned about loved ones who are ill. We pray for our local hospitals, for our GP surgeries. We pray for all those who work in community and we pray for our emergency services and for our funeral directors. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, you have taught us that all our doings without love are nothing worth. Send your Holy Spirit and pour into our hearts that most excellent gift of love, the true bond of peace and of all virtues, without which whoever lives is counted dead before you. Grant this for your only Son, Jesus Christ's sake, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So may the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.